working on the second star block all right so the second star block is the white on white dot background again i cut it seven and a half by seven and a half i put my fusible woven on the back all right the star is out of this teal snowflake fabric all right so i did not cut my star right i didn't cut that six by six piece i'm just going to lay this on top of there and trim it okay um for the quilting i'm going to do white for the uh mint color i am using uh floriani 219 for that the other thing you need to know about the second star is when i look on the quilting page it's number 33. So when I go down to 33 for star number two, I want the quilting design design called winter two, and I want the six by six size. So it's KDQ 099. So I opened up the, the Q99 six by six. Then I opened up the star embroidery file, right? So I can get started with this. And the only other thing that you'll need is your batting. Cut a little bit bigger, you know, like six by six for your batting or a little bigger. All right, so we are going to get started with that. And I am gonna change the camera. So here's my machine. I have my white loaded with a white bobbin. I am pretty sure this is out of my way, but we're going to find out right now or if I have to move it. All right, so the first thing it's going to stitch is going to be my placement line for where to put my batting, right? So I'm going to hit start, and this is going to be where I'm going to be placing my batting. Just showing you, you know, star number two. So this might be close to that quarter inch when it does the fabric placement line and tack down. So you might have to fold that a little bit when we go to there. So there is the placement line for where to place your bat. Okay, so I am putting batting behind all of my squares as I am doing this block by block method. All right, so I have my batting. All right, once I lay my batting down, I hit start and I'm going to tack down my batting. I didn't iron this piece. And it doesn't look like I'm gonna I'm really got this one cut right at the six by six. I don't know if it'll tack any of it down right now. A little bit right there. Okay. That's fine. Gonna go around it a second time. Am I gonna get a piece of tape here ready? As you can see the way I hooped, I'm trying to save my stabilizer. So I hooped one right underneath the other one, and I just wanna pull the edge of this fabric. From the first star, I'm gonna tape it down and out of the way. All right, now that I tacked my batting down, I wanna trim around it any that's exceeding. Right, if it's too far over that line. This is really close. I'm not going to worry about that. This one up here, I think, is just a little bit further away. I'll cut that little corner off. Again, that's just taking the batting out of the seam, right? The next step, number three of this embroidery file, this is doing the quilting file now, is where to place my fabric. So I will get my fabric ready. My fabric is the white on white dot. Um, there's no um, top bottom kind of thing of this fabric. It doesn't matter which way I put it. Remember, if you have directional fabric, you need to be careful which way you put it on the hoop. But so far, these blocks did not have that. 
All right, so now I'm going to put this one down. And again, I like to kind of center it across the right and left hand side. Then I like to pull it down. And then I fold the one side up and I look and say, how much do I have at the bottom? How much at the top? And I have way more at the top again than I do the bottom. I'm just trying to split the difference between the two, right? Left, top, and bottom. Once you have your fabric laid down, you're going to stitch number four, and that's going to tack this fabric down. And again, it's doing it with a big wide stitch. So if you see that stitch later in the seam, when you go to seam your quilt, um, you can take that stitching out, right? And it'll make it really easy to pick those stitches out. If by chance, when you sew it, you sew like way less than a quarter inch together or you know, it just isn't so right, it's crooked or whatnot. So that'll help you with that. All right, now that that is done, the last step of the quilting file is to do the quilting on it. Again, I'm doing it in white. Um, this quilting is um, like swirls with snowmen. All right, so that's how you're doing number two. I'm going to do my quilting and my star, and I'm not um, number three. Let's look at star number three before we leave. It's the light green background with the red on the star. It happens to be number 59. So all you have to do with that one is to go to number 59 of the quilting. All right. It says star three. You want to pick up the 098 Christmas Design 8. It is a 6x6 six six again. And you do the same thing with um, the third star. So I think you'll be okay. I showed you how to do the whole first star. So you can do the second and third one now.